keep checking the calendar because I'm like, <laughs> is it really the end of October? It should not be this warm. <laughs> no. and, and, and I'm I'm scared, Jessica, to check in with meteorologist <laughs> no. Danielle Grant because her be map like has that. been all over the place. A little roller coaster oh, ride. No. <laughs> Are you guys ready for a little snow? Maybe? No. no, no, we're comfortable I want now, fall, Danielle. Fall. I know. I know. We want the colors. We want the pumpkin spice. But Mother Nature might have other plans for us next week. Out ahead of that next incoming storm, we have been treated to some pretty nice weather. We did watch a cold front swing across the state midday. That helped to usher in all of that dust. If you were driving around around lunchtime, you probably noticed it. You really can't see the mountains and foothills in the distance. Now this evening, we're watching some of that move out. And wow, is the sunshine bright. You need some shades for that one. We still have the red flag warning in place until 6 o'clock. The winds gusting upwards of 50 miles per hour up and down the I-25 corridor off to the northeastern plains after sunset. We should start to see those winds back off quite a bit. Today was a warm one. Out ahead of that front, we touched 74 degrees. Keep in mind, the average low 60s should be more sweater weather around here. We were in the 60s in northern Colorado, Fort Collins and Greeley, 82, Lamar, La Junta, Pueblo, too, with 50s and 60s, low 60s up in the mountains. Looking at the climate calendar, we were not quite near that record high of 82. That's all right because we will be heading into record-setting territory over the weekend. That cold front will continue to sag to the south. It is clear it is cold early tomorrow morning. In fact, we could be looking at overnight lows dipping to the freezing mark here in the metro area, northern Colorado, the northeastern plains. Widespread frost certainly possible. The frost advisory will continue until 9 a.m. You'll notice Denver not included in that, but temperatures will be close to it. Freeze warning out across far northwestern Colorado. I'll show you the future cast early tomorrow morning. Again, we'll have some sunshine. The frost won't last long by the afternoon. Beautiful conditions, nice and dry for our Friday with a few clouds increasing up in the high country later tomorrow evening. Otherwise, here in town, we'll be looking at a crisp start to the day. 45 Around 9 a.m. we'll be in the upper 50s around the lunch hour and then eventually jump into the 60s by the later afternoon here in town. Really all of eastern Colorado will enjoy a nice cool off. Temperatures still above average, but hey, a little more seasonal for this time of the year. We'll stay in the 50s up through the foothills and again 60s pretty much off to the plains and here in the metro. That cold front. Yeah, it, it's around for one day and one day only. A warm front rolls back in for the weekend, and that keeps us warm and dry. All eyes ahead toward next uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. That's when this next storm system rolls in and really drops off our temperatures dramatically. Look at the extended forecast. We're talking 80s for the last weekend of October, Sunday and Monday. Monday could be a record high tie. A strong cold front pushes through, drops us 20 degrees, brings us some rain, and then possibly a rain-snow mix early on Wednesday morning. Good news, it's dry for Halloween. <laughs>